Hello! In this quick video, we're going to learn how to join and use a Zoom meeting. Zoom meetings are video conferences that you can access from both your desktop as well as mobile devices. To begin, your instructor should have shared with you a meeting invitation or join URL. If you're using a computer, you will use this information to navigate to the URL in a web browser. You can also use this tool on your mobile devices, tablets, with Wi-Fi. Many of the functions in the overall interface is similar to the desktop version. Once the meeting page loads, you'll be prompted to download and run the Zoom software. Save this file to your computer and follow the setup instructions on the screen. Once the program has been successfully installed, your meeting should launch. If the download does not work properly, Click on the bottom of the page to run the lighter version of the Zoom meeting from your browser directly. Once the meeting launches, you'll be asked to connect to the meeting audio. Select if you'd like to connect with your phone or with your computer microphone and speakers. If you choose to connect with your computer, we recommend testing your mic and speaker using the testing tool provided. It's recommended that you use headsets or headphones in order to avoid audio feedback. Once your audio is connected, you can mute and unmute yourself at any time by clicking in the microphone button at the bottom of the screen. We recommend muting your mic if you're not speaking to help avoid any audio issues for the rest of the meeting participants. To start sharing your camera, click on the video button on the bottom of the screen. You can also stop sharing your camera by clicking on this button. Once the meeting has started, you'll have some control over what you see. You can view everyone's camera in speaker view, which highlights the active speaker as the largest camera, or switch to gallery view. Gallery view shows all of the cameras on one screen and highlights the active speaker with a border around their camera. You can also click on full button to maximize your viewing space. Along the bottom of the meeting room are some additional options you'll find handy. The first is the participants list, which will show you who else is in the meeting. There's also the chat option, which lets you send messages to other users in the room. Clicking on the chat option brings up the chat panel. This can be helpful if you're having technical issues or want to ask a question without interrupting the current speaker. Some of your screens may look different than the ones shown here in this video due to updates or the type of screen you're seeing it on, but overall the buttons and options remain similar and easy to follow. Here are some tips for participating in online learning. First. Make sure you're muted when you're not talking. Be yourself and respect others. Ask questions using the chat. Use reactions to engage with your class. Think before you write. Utilize the raise your hand feature if wanting to ask a question live. And set up an intentional space where the class is going to happen. And that's it. All you need to know about the basics of getting started using Zoom.